Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first installment of Deus Ex Human Revolution here on DC and More Gaming. Let me start by saying the music on this intro screen is amazing. It truly is. Um, I have spent the last five or ten minutes just uh, listening to it peacefully, preparing myself for the twists and turns this game may or may not have in store for me. Uh, never played the game before, so we're gonna jump in and see what transpires. Now, I am going to, basically, I'm kind of assuming um, easy, medium, and hard. I'm going to go with tell me a story. Because I am generally not that good when it comes to combat in video games, and I really am all about the story of a video game. So, that's what I'm going to go with. We can always, you know, up the difficulty as the game progresses if I find it a little bit too easy. But for now, we're going to go with this, this first option. And with that, let us begin. With a loading screen. Like any good game. <laughs> All right, I will skip this loading screen and we will get right into the action. I'll be right back. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean? Almost. I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We can talk at most of it. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Syrup is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David... Syrup will it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are sent to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. And we 
are in control of Adam, apparently. I think his name was Adam, isn't it? David's waiting, Adam. We shouldn't keep him. Yeah, so I'm Adam. <laughs> Let us talk. And walk, Warning. apparently. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. If there's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Oh. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOC cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading than visitors. visitors. Very very I'll ask at David to consider us. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, so most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing good. It's not all There's another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it. Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. Until it's ready. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. You still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. <laughs> You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admitted that. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah, never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find a loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. It transmits data to our dedicated satellite. I don't care what it states. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. 
Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you Darrow ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, to get someone to shut off that damn racket. Yes, sir. All right, so, elevator of Seraph Industries. We are about to, let's see, use you. And, uh, oh, four, five, one. And, uh, I wrote that code down so that if we need it later in the game, we'll have it. Pritchard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Pritchard? Pritchard! So, uh, <laughs> I have a gun now. Apparently, it was either stored in the hidden compartment in the elevator right under this little thing here, um, or I've just been carrying it with me the entire time. <laughs> uh, that is that's cool though that I just like carry a gun around with me. That's uh, it's very safe. As long as I know how to use a gun, which is probably not the case. <laughs> I just randomly shoot things. Oh yeah. Those wires? No, not on my watch. Okay, we're wasting ammo. Dear God. So, apparently he does not notice me. He does not include seeing through glass on his repertoire of talents, apparently, but that is just as well. I do not want to fight him now. Uh, press tab and hold. Some objects in the environment can be picked up and moved. Use them to create- Okay. Oh, resume. So this can be moved. I guess that opens up this, which we can go through to get to the other side of that glass. And yep, there are the bodies. So we are in the right location. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> or did I? More shooting things. Let's uh, move out here. Oh wow, look at that. That's pretty. This is a very pretty game. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Let's Mark. 
man can take some damage. Let's try to get him in the head, that might... Did he die? Oh, he did. Okay, we're good to go. We'll take that. Let me actually reload. And we will take that. That poor guy. Now the least I can do is uh, move you to a more seemly location. That's awkward. <laughs> That's a little better. I don't. Rest in peace, dude. Alright, that's all I gotta say. Alrighty then. Jump over the obstacle. Did I kill them both? Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't! Maybe he'll come through the door if I just sit here. If I just, oh! He did! Silly soldier! Haven't you ever heard of campers? <laughs> Cause that's what I am, I'm a camper. I am, guys, if you, if you did not know that I camp horribly in Especially like uh, multiplayer, first person shooters and stuff, I camp a lot. And it serves me well. So I continue to do it, even though there's a general consensus that I have gotten that camping is not, you know, kind of frowned upon. But um, what can you do? What can you do? Keeping in mind, of course, that I am playing on the easiest difficulty level. Uh, so, you know, things things will be a little bit easier than perhaps would otherwise be the case. Will that explode if I shoot it? Ooh. Cool. It emits smoke and then vanishes into thin air. Jensen, thank God. What did that say? Holy moly, you are a vanishing lady soldier person. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> don't die, don't kill me, don't die! Well, I mean, you die, I don't want to die. That, that was mixed messages, I apologize. I meant you die, I don't want to. That's what I meant. You know, in the midst of a heated gun battle, it's important to articulate your meaning carefully. Otherwise, your enemies may misconstrue the information they are given. And I'm shooting way too high. Why not? It's hard to play this because I don't have any sort of indicator as to what my ammo level is at and stuff. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Those guys are smart. Where are you? Come out, come out, where are you? He came out! That actually worked, wow. It usually doesn't work, usually that just makes enemies stay behind their corners. Yeah, yeah, I see you too. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop. Reload, reload, 
reload, reload, reload! <sighs> and down here you go, one by one. Is that all of them? Nope, it was not. He's right over there. And now he's not. Well, he still is, I guess, but... He's not going to be needing this anymore. I'm, I play these games very much in the fashion of an RPG, which makes sense because this is actually an RPG. It's not a shooter, despite the, the appearance. So... Continue on our way, make our way through this cutscene. <laughs> Yowza! All that glass cannot feel good. Strong man approaches! After punching me in the stomach and brutally mutilating my body, but not killing me quite, because that's how mean he is, he swipes away my gun. Grabs me by the throat and lifts me off the ground, but I don't die, because again, I'm super like that. He smiles. He smirks, rather. I gasp for air! He- Oh, a barrel! Shoot! Green slime, sticky, searing pain! Oh! Drops something on the ground! Slap, scientist! Turns around menacingly. Picks up gun off the floor, my gun, and points it at me! No! Haven't you lost enough people today? I'm sorry. 